Welcome to our virtual parent orientation. We know it's going to be a unique year, so we want to give you some information you'll need for the beginning of the year to get started. A complete parent handbook will be available on our Canvas page, as well as a paper copy that you can pick up during your student's EPS testing slot. Um, we will be sending out the beginning of the school year registration form, such as emergency contacts, things like that, digitally this year. So please return these via email or print them out and return them to us uh, by your child's first day of school. We're going to do some introductions of the staff who will be working with your students daily. Hi, my name is Mixie Clark and I'm the special education teacher here in the Adams Community Preschool Classroom. I've been teaching since 2011. I moved here three years ago from New Mexico. I have my master's in early childhood special education, um, and I enjoy yoga, belly dance, paddle boarding, and hiking. Okay, my name is Amber Hardman, and I am the gen ed teacher in the preschool classroom. I have been teaching preschool for four years, and before that I've taught fifth and sixth grade. I, have a, I graduated from Utah State with a degree in elementary education. This, or this last July I had a baby. He is almost two months old and his name is Landon. I really love to travel. I lived in Alaska and worked there for two summers. And I also love to go to Hawaii. I've been there twice. And I love to paint and I like to read. Hi, my name's Cheryl McMillan. I'm an assistant here at Adams. I studied child development at BYU-Idaho, but I used my training to raise five children, and my reward was 13 grandchildren. I love hiking, biking, repelling, and canyoneering with my husband, but most of all, I love children, so I absolutely love my job. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm one of the assistants in the classroom. If you've had children in the program before, I was previously the substitute. Um, I have a degree from the University of New Mexico in Anthropology and Archaeology. I have three kids. I like playing disc golf, cross-stitching, knitting, and spending time with my family. Um, I also love eating cookies. I'm going to be talking about the school schedule this year. There will be a few small changes for people who have had students in the program before. AM drop-off will still be at 8.50 and PM at 12.45. As a parent or someone on your paperwork that is over 18, you will have to come through the front of the school through the vestibule. You will have to be wearing a mask and you'll have to get your temperature checked before you bring your child straight down the hall to room 29. Your child will also have to be wearing their mask before they enter the school unless they have an exemption. While waiting for class to start, you will wait in the hallways next to these small blue X's that we've placed along the wall that are six feet apart. You cannot come into the classroom until class starts at either 8.50 or 12.45 because we're getting the classroom ready for the day. After we've opened the door, a teacher will sign in your child so that they can come in and start washing their hands. Unfortunately, parents aren't allowed to come into the classroom to help with the start of the day. Also, so that we don't have a clump of kids all trying to wash their hands at once, we'll be calling you up to sign in your child. And please wait for us to call you up just so we don't get all clumped together again. Pickup times will be five minutes earlier to allow for extra cleaning and disinfecting. This means that the AM classes will need to be picked up at 11.25 and the PM classes need to be picked up at 3.20. A teacher will sign out your child just like they signed them in in the morning. Um, if the weather is bad, we will do pickup at these back doors and you'll just wait outside for a teacher to bring your child out. Outdoor pickup will be at this playground on the left side of the school behind the parking lot. You have to be 18 years or older 
to pick up a child. You cannot be late. If you are more than five minutes late, you'll receive a warning the first time, and after three times, it is possible that you will be exited from the preschool program. The daily schedule will start with arrival at either 8.50 for the morning group or 12.45 for the afternoon group. This is when they'll get signed in and then come in to wash their hands and answer their mystery question. After they've done that, they'll move to a focus activity, which will include something like listening to books or doing some sort of sensory activity. After that, we'll start the day with first circle. Then we'll move to learning activities during the rotations. This will be where they'll learn things like alphabet knowledge, numbers, or science. Then after that, we'll move to self-selection, where the kids will get to pick an area of the classroom to play in. Then after that, we do either an art or a movement activity, so like the obstacle course or an art project. After that, we'll do second circle. And then for the end of the day, we'll have our snack before we go outside to play if the weather permits. We're excited to work with your children this year in preschool. We truly will love them and do the best that we can to care for them. Part of the care this year includes safety measures that we're taking to help prevent the spread of COVID. Part of that will include a lot of hand washing and a lot of hand sanitizing, both us and your children, so please help them know that that's part of the routine. We'll teach them how, the proper steps, and different ways that they can make sure that their hands are all clean, as well as we'll make it a lot of fun for them as well. The child will have their own chair with their name on it to use throughout the day, and we will be sanitizing tables and different toys and things that they touch so that the germs are not spread. Each child will be given their own mask and lanyard, or you're welcome to bring your own for your child. Wearing masks is part of the district mandate, unless your child has an approved exemption. We will also be wearing these masks on the playground, as it will be hard to keep the children six feet apart while playing. If you have any other questions, we have lots more information that we can share with you and would be happy to answer those questions for you. A mask properly worn, as you know, needs to cover the nose and go under the chin. The district has also asked this year that each preschooler have their own supplies. They'll need a pencil box and if you can label it with their name, preferably plastic so we can sanitize it and keep it clean, as well as they'll need a pair of scissors, some liquid glue, some crayons, some washable markers, and a glue stick. Also, they'll need a set of paint. It can be even something that you have at home that's old and used with a paintbrush as well so that they can have their own art supplies. You will also need a large old t-shirt for your child, one that you don't want anymore because we will be cutting it up the back to put on them easily for art projects. And also, if you could label it with your child's name so we don't get them put away in the wrong place. Your child will need a full-size backpack to bring to school. Inside of it, they will need a complete change of clothes in case of accidents or spills or something happening to their outfit during the day. They, if your child wears diapers, they will need to have diapers and wipes and they will also be keeping their art shirt in their backpack. Um, I know that the little backpacks are really cute, but because of all the stuff that we have to keep in there and the papers we send home that are full size, like their art projects and just papers from the school, we really need the full size backpack or everything will get smooshed. Um, their backpacks during the day will stay in their assigned cubbies along with their jacket or coat or anything else that they bring to school. We do ask that they 
do not bring any personal items to school. If they do happen to bring them, they will stay in their backpack all day. So last week I sent out an email about our testing. Hopefully you were able to get the email. There were some problems with the email. If you weren't able to put your child on the schedule, please send me an email with your child's name and the time that you would like to, to come for testing and I will put them on the schedule. Please do not delete or remove any names from the schedule. Testing will be Tuesday and Wednesday this week. You will come to the school and you will check in at the office. You and your child need to wear a mask and you will have a temperature check. If you do not have a mask, please let us know and we will be able to provide one for you or your child. This testing is a baseline test, so if your child doesn't do very well on it, it's okay. They're in a new place. They've never, some of them have never been here before and we are new to them. We ask that you sit out in the hall while your child is testing, unless there's a special circumstance that makes it so you need to stay with your child. Please leave other siblings at home so that we can social distance in our, hall, in our hallways. So this year we, we will be using Canvas through the district website. If you have older kids, you might be familiar with this program. Throughout the year, it will have information about our preschool. You can find our contact information. You can also find a link to our parent handbook and a link to Seesaw, which is another program that we will be talking about and using this year. To access this, I will be sending you an email. Follow the instructions in the email. And if you have any questions or comments about it, please ask. Make sure you check it because I will be adding and changing information throughout the year. So we will be using Seesaw. This is an, a website that allows students to send in assignments and complete things at home on a computer, laptop, or a cell phone, or an iPad. We will be sending home weekly assignments and we urge you to complete these with your child at home because these assignments will be things that we are learning in class in our preschool. We will also be sending home announcements and pictures of our class. So please check Seesaw at least once a week. All right, so you will need to download the Seesaw class app. It looks like this. You will click on it and then the, you will click I am a student. Each parent will receive a paper with their child's QR code and a login. If you're just using a computer, you will log in like this, or you can use the scanner to scan the QR code. So we will scan the QR code, and then it will open up your child's Seesaw app. You can pull up when he, they have activities and do a lesson. It gives the instructions to the assignment and then you can send it to us. Outside our classroom, we have our giving tree. This is where we list items um, that we could use donated to our classroom. This is voluntary, but very much appreciated if you can bring any of these items in. Um, we have different things listed here. If you do want to bring one in, please do not remove the apple, leave it on here, because oftentimes we need more than one parent to bring in that item to be able to have enough for all four classes. Once we start getting a few of those supplies in, we will take the apple down. If you've already purchased the item and you come and see that the apple is down, please still bring it into the classroom. We can definitely still use it. Um, we have here some of the things that we need just getting started for the year. A lot of snack items like fruit snacks, apple juice, string cheese, but also feel free to just bring in a snack that's one of your child's favorites. I'm sure they'd love to bring in a favorite snack and share it with their peers. 
We will be serving snack daily, so if your child does have any food allergies or intolerances, we want to know about those as soon as possible so we can make a list and be sure not to serve anything to your child that will upset their stomach or give them an allergic reaction. So um, please let us know via email or during your EPS testing slot if your child does have any food allergies or intolerances. In our classroom, we use a positive behavior support system with this reward chart. So each student will be assigned an ice cream cone at the bottom here. And when they do things above and beyond, like helping a peer, or they follow rules like listening the first time, they'll get a Velcro ice cream scoop to put onto their chart. When they get seven scoops and reach the cherry on top, then they get to pick a treasure out of the treasure box. There's lots of different things in here, so hopefully there's something in there that they will like that will motivate them. Also, we never remove any scoops off of the chart uh, for challenging behavior. Once they earn them, that is their scoop and it will never be removed from their chart. We thought we'd review this with you this year, so when they come home talking about earning scoops, you'd know what they were talking about and that they did something awesome at school.